Hi guys and welcome to part 7 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials. On the last part we created all components that we are going to use in our application and on this part we are going to configure the routing so we can navigate from one component to another. For that we need to go to app.module.ts file and in here we need to declare the routes first. So let's write in here routes. We are going to write all the routes on an array, so for that we create an array by writing const up routes is equal to an empty array. The up routes array is going to be of type routes, and the routes belongs to Angular router library, so for that we are going to import the routes. We are going to write in here multiple routes, and each route has two parameters. The first parameter is the path parameter, and here we are going to write the path from the URL. For example, the path in this case would be my path. We are going to create the route for the home page, and in this case, the URL is going to be empty. So, this is the path in this case. And the second parameter for a route is the component. The component signifies which is the component that is going to handle the request that comes from this URL. So, for example, when we have nothing in our URL, we want to handle the data by using our home component. So, for that, we write in here path is empty. The component used is going to be home component. Another path would be the path that we are going to use to show all the books. So, for that, in here, we are going to write path. When the path is books, then the component should be the books component. So, what this means is that when on our path, we are going to request all the books. Then this request is going to be handled by the books component. Another path would be the path that we are going to use to display the details for a book. And in here you see that we have book slash ID. So the request from our URL is going to come like book. And here, for example, the ID of the book. So when the request is of this format, then we are going to handle this request by using the book component. We need an additional path to add a book. So for that, we write that path for add book is going to be handled by the add book component. The same way one for the edit book. And for the edit book, we need an ID as well, because we are going to edit a book that we have in our database. And to get that book details, we need to have the ID of that book. And the last path is the path that we are going to display to the user, the delete confirmation for a book. So we are going to name it delete book and we need here an ID as well. Now for the route to work, we need to configure it in our imports array, write router module, because we are going to use the router module to handle the routing requests. And the router module belongs to the angular slash router, so we import it in here as well. And then write for root, so as a routing root, we are going to use the array that we just created. So in here, we write up roots. We save the changes and we see that the application was compiled successfully. So that's all you need to do to configure the routing. On the next part, we are going to create our navigation bar and we are going to see how we can go from one component to another. So guys, thank you for watching and see you on the next part.